All populations, including humans, evolve. This means the different forms of genes for a particular trait, or alleles, will change over time. One way for scientists to tell whether natural selection, which is the process of organisms adapting to the environment, or other external forces are causing a population to evolve, is determining the population's genetic structure, if it were not changing. The Hardy-Weinberg principle, named for two scientists, G. H. Hardy and W. Weinberg, states that the frequency of alleles in a population will remain constant from generation to generation, unless there are changes in the population, such as mutation, which is a change in the gene sequence, natural selection, which is an environmental factors influence which alleles are more preferred, migration, when organisms move in or out of a population, and or genetic drift, a change in allele frequency due to random chance. In addition to assuming no change in these four areas, the Hardy-Weinberg principle also assumes a large population size. When these assumptions are met, the frequency of alleles in a population will remain constant, and the genotype frequencies, the combination of alleles, will be determined by the allele frequencies. This is known as the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, a tool population geneticists use to test if a population is in equilibrium, or if external forces are causing the genetics of a population to change. So how does it work? As an example, we can use a population of cattle that live in the same place at the same time and breed to produce fertile offspring. Let's say these cows have two alleles of a gene that determines coat color, allele R, red, and W, white. Let's also say that these alleles are codominant, meaning that each allele results in an equal visual effect, or phenotype. Because each animal has two alleles of each gene, the three possible genotypes and phenotypes of these cows would be RR, purebred red, RW, grown, a mixture of red and white, and WW, purebred white. We can use the Hardy-Weinberg equation to predict both the current frequency of alleles in the gene pool, as well as in the subsequent generations of cows in the population. If we find that allele and genotype frequencies deviate from Hardy-Weinberg predictions, the population is not in equilibrium for the alleles of this gene. Let's do some calculations. Let's estimate the frequency of the alleles by dividing the number of times an allele is identified in the population by the total number of all the alleles of that specific gene in the population at a given time. In this population, let's say there are 100 cows, each of which have two alleles, R and W, for color, meaning the total number of alleles in the population is 200. Within this population, we observe five RR, or red cows, 10 R alleles, 50 R W or Roan cows, 50 R alleles plus 50 W alleles, and 45 W W white cows for 90 W alleles. This gives us a total of 60 R alleles and 140 W alleles. We would then calculate that 60 alleles in a gene pool of 200, 60 over 200, equals an R allele frequency of 0.3 with 140 W alleles in a pool of 200 alleles, 140 over 200, the frequency of W is 0.7. Notice that the total of the frequency of R plus the frequency of W equal one. Now let's say this population of cattle reproduces, and now there are 500 cows. Using the Hardy-Weinberg principle, we can predict what proportion of cows we expect to be in each genotype if the population is in equilibrium. In the previous generation, we had calculated R equals 0.3, W equals 0.7. To determine whether the population is in equilibrium or not, we can use the Hardy-Weinberg equation, P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. In this equation, P is equal to the frequency of one allele, in our case R, and Q is equal to the frequency of the other allele, in our case W. Substituting our allele frequencies we calculated before, we get 0.3 squared plus 2 times 0.3 times 0.7 plus 0.7 squared equals 1. Thus, if the alleles of this gene in the population of 500 cows are in equilibrium, we would expect to see 0.3 squared times 500 
plus 2 times 0.3 times 0.7 times 500 plus 0.7 squared times 500 is equal to 500, equaling 45 RR red cows, 210 RW roan cows, and 245 WW white cows. If the observed genotype frequencies don't match those predicted by the Hardy-Weinberg equation, then the population is not in equilibrium, which means the population may be evolving. The Hardy-Weinberg principle provides a framework to understand the evolutionary forces that influence how genes are passed down through generations. It allows geneticists to make important observations about the genetic makeup of a population that can guide public health decisions, such as estimating the frequency of genetic disorders or identifying external factors that are influencing the genetic makeup of a population. It's amazing the power of one simple mathematical equation.